Hey everyone, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about a little bit of Bitcoin, why Bitcoin is reaching 28,000. So if you're new to Bitcoin, new to cryptocurrency, if you want to learn more about cryptocurrency, I do have a free course. The link is down below. So I got this question. People are asking, why is Bitcoin going to 28,000? And, uh, you know, if you're not familiar with blockchain, cryptocurrency, and if you're new to cryptocurrency, to make things short, uh, Bitcoin is known as like digital gold. Um, one thing that it has, it, it's a speculative asset that it's nothing you could hold. It's just something that has a lot of scarcity that y you and I and other investors put a, a value to it. And part of it is that because there's only a certain amount of Bitcoin that's available and everyone is trying to scoop it up. If there's no available Bitcoin tokens or if miners can't build fast enough, when everyone, like all the institutional players like Grayscale and PayPal and all these other big names like Square are all trying to grab it because there's not much left, what happens to the token? It's supply and demand. If there's a lot of demand for it and no supply, things go up. And this is what I wanted to bring up is this. So we talk about this in the private group. So this image has been circulating within all the groups. So if you guys know, I do talk a lot about sharing. And within sharing... Sharing is an ERC-20 token. They have their own blockchain. They recently partnered up with the third or fourth biggest company in the world, which is Tencent. And if you look at this, when I talk about Bitcoin and having X amount of tokens available, maybe there's only about 2 million left, but that brings scarcity. Now, if we want to talk about supply and demand of sharing, sharing partnered up with Tencent and the way their technology works with flowbacks, the amount of circulating supply of the SHR token is going to go really fast because staking is coming out very, very soon, probably about a month, maybe two months. And they just partnered up with the third or fourth largest company in the world, which is Tencent. Tencent, which if you're not familiar with Tencent, they own WeChat. WeChat is the largest mobile communication platform, which is similar to WhatsApp in the United States, but it's in China, it's in Asia. In the Middle East, they use uh, WeChat. And they've also been working with self-sovereign identity. So they partnered up with the BSN, which is the blockchain service network, with the Paya, with the Thailand government. So let me take a let me take a look at this and show you the scarcity similar to Bitcoin. There's not going to be much SHR left. So this is an ERC-20 wallet tracker. So I'm just going to go over this briefly. I'm going to make this video nice and short. I'm not going to put any fluff into this. Because everything that I, you see here is trackable on the blockchain. And if you're new into cryptocurrency, all of this is tracked on Etherscan because it's an ERC-20 wallet. So the amount of token holders and investors that buy sharing. So if you buy one SHR, one share token, it costs you roughly around two cents. Now, every time you buy, it's tracked on the chain, on Ethereum's chain. So right now, the team currently holds 161 million SHR. The exchanges where you can buy and trade and sell, like BitMart, like Qcoin, like Bittrex. So sharing is on many, many exchanges where you can buy. They have 303 million SHR. So the top 250 wallets, they currently hold 650 million. Now, the circulating supply is roughly about a billion so if you do the calculation here 650 million plus 300 million plus 161 million and if you take a look at my video that talks about flowbacks you'll understand why sharing is going to have a problem with tokens the amount of tokens it's not a problem it's actually a good problem because the amount of sharing or the price of sharing is just going to rise because this, there's going to be a lot of demand with not much supply out there. And like I said, if you haven't watched my video about flowbacks, just watch this video about flowbacks. You'll understand how the SHR token works with flowbacks. But if you look at this, we are only counting ERC-20 wallets, okay? So what's going to happen in a couple of months, the sharing app is going to be released. Staking is going to be released. It's going to be available a lot of people are going to lock up their tokens to get passive income to start staking and getting, you know, a, a 4 to 8 to 10% APY. So you're going to be getting passive income from from staking your tokens and locking up your tokens on an available masternode. 
So do you see where I'm getting at with the supply and demand? 650 people, 650 million people of the top 250 wallets. This is only saying the top 250. Now, the exchanges hold 300 million, but a lot of us hold a lot of our, you know, some of our sharing on the exchanges. And with only a billion tokens, you know, that is probably circulating out there, this is why I say the price of SHR at two cents is a steal. This is not financial advice, but if you just do the math, and I'm not making this number up because I'm going to show you on Etherscan that the team holds 161 million. And if you look at this, we're only talking about Ethereum chain tokens, which are ERC20 tokens, which is about 2,000 wallets. Now let's go to Etherscan. So with 2,200 wallets, and only the top 250 wallets hold 650 million SHR, imagine how much supply is going to be left. Not much. Look at this, 7,000 wallets in total. So we're only counting... 2,000 wallets roughly. So now you could just come here to etherscan.io, go to yourself, go go there yourself. Now, once you put in the contract, you come up here and just do an SHR. Look for the share token. So the share token is here. You click on it. Now what you want to do is you go to holders. So if you're not familiar with etherscan, this is how it works. You can look at all of the transfers that happen. You can see a transfer 13 minutes ago. Someone actually sent Uniswap to Uniswap V2 to sharing to this address of a total amount of 3,823 SHR tokens. You could also see some other moves. You can see all the moves. You know, someone sent 100,000 to Qcoin, etc. So you could see everything. Now we go over to holders. Now it says that we have 2,294 addresses underneath the Ethereum chain. So the top wallet is the Teams wallet, which has 161 million share tokens. And then from that picture, it says the exchanges hold roughly about 350 million, roughly. So 350 million, 150 million belongs to BitMart, which is an exchange. Qcoin is an exchange. And maybe some of these top wallets are maybe Bittrex, Global, Probit, etc. Some other exchanges. Now... The top 250 wallets hold 650 million. And you can scroll and you could count this yourself. So that number is, I'm, you know, I'm not making that up. You could actually download it into a CSV export file. So I just download this and you could actually look at the balance and you could export this into an, an Excel spreadsheet and just do a simple sum of all of this. Now, they said the top 250 wallets hold 650 million. So let's say we were to count, you know, from 251 to 2000. Imagine how much people hold. So imagine what's going to happen. You know, like I mentioned, sharing has partnerships with a ton of companies. And Tencent being the third or fourth largest company in the world has partnered up with them for self-sovereign identity for travel, for payments, and more. So just imagine the billions and billions of people that hold the WeChat app that are going to be utilized in sharing. And every time they perform an event or a transaction, that reduces the amount of supply available on the exchanges. It's just going to go back into the token holders, back into the masternodes, back into staking so everyone can earn passive income. So that's why I say, you know, uh, sharing is a hidden gem. Just take a look at Etherscan, do it yourself, do the count, uh, export the, the sheet, and you can find out how many tokens you know people are holding in their wallets and do an estimate of the circulating supply. So anyways, that's everything for the video. I just want to throw this out. If I don't see everyone uh, before New Year's Eve, I just want to wish everyone uh, safe and happy holidays, happy New Year's, and all the best in 2021.